did an accountant intent on a stable numbers job end up running a media company during one of the most tumultuous periods in the industry? Perhaps it was in her DNA. Karen Acton's mom worked for the Associated Press, and Karen worked for the AP during college as a gopher on Capitol Hill. Her dad was a Washington, D.C. firefighter. And as everyone in the newspaper business knows, we put out lots of fires. Karen's accounting job in Bethesda made for a horrible commute. So she began looking around. Ironically, she found her first newspaper job through an ad in a newspaper. As controller and general manager of Chesapeake Publishing, she could be closer to her Waldorf home and her family. She rose through the ranks to controller, publisher of Southern Maryland newspapers and then became chief financial officer when the company was purchased by Post Newsweek. Three years later, she was promoted to chief executive officer and chief financial officer. With an army of 176 reporters, editors, and photographers, the 19 newspapers she controlled reached 671,000 homes in the Washington, D.C. suburbs and Southern Maryland. Jack Murphy, retired executive director at MDDC, worked with Karen at the Gazette and at the Press Association. He remembers Karen was always interested in making every organization with which she was affiliated be the best it could be. She always made time to help with the newspaper industry as a whole. She is smart, creative, and very hardworking. Throughout her career, Karen was active with the MDDC Press Association, serving as its president in 2006. Karen says she is most proud of her work in Annapolis, testifying on behalf of the newspaper industry. Jim McLaughlin is deputy counsel at the Washington Post and worked with Karen on legal issues. He recalls, whatever the crisis of the day was, Karen always responded with energy, judgment, and good humor. She was a newspaper CEO, editor, and general counsel, all in one. Chris Eddings, retired publisher of the Daily Record, notes her strong legislative work. I can't think of another publisher who has been such a powerful and consistent voice for MDDC Press Association members. Karen Acton has always been willing to testify before legislative bodies on our behalf. More important, however, is that her testimony has been valuable. She's respected by legislators as well as by her colleagues. MDDC Executive Director Rebecca Snyder says Karen was instrumental in steering the direction of the Press Association. For me, Karen was a steady and wise counsel as I transitioned into becoming MDDC's Executive Director. She has a wealth of institutional knowledge about the industry and the Press Association. Karen always made time to provide thoughtful insight and ask relevant questions to ensure the Press Association was on the right track. Karen is now the Director of Budget and Financial Analysis for the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. For decades of leadership and commitment to our industry, the Maryland-Delaware D.C. Press Association honors Karen Acton with its Distinguished Service Award.